I just remember like getting to this part of the book and I'm just like, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is gonna happen. I just, it, it just, it all made sense. Like, Thank you for joining me on another Novel Escape. My name is Trevon Grant, and this is going to be a, uh, a series review on The Demon Cycle by uh, Peter V. Brett. I'm going to try to avoid the spoilers, but I might say some things that are going to spoil the story. Okay, so um, this book series is really, really good. Um, this is one of those series that I binged easily what are these books about these books are about um we are in a world where after the sun goes down every evening there are demons that rise from the ground they come up as mist and then they form into demons and so if and and these demons go around and hunt down humans uh they hunt down prey people that they can kill and so on right and they just have an unending thirst for human flesh and to eat humans and so on. Um, now, the in order for humans to protect themselves, what they do, they create these wards, um, which are kind of like runes that they write on posts or on different things around their homes, around themselves, around their their villages. And, and so when the demons try to come in and try to attack, they run up against these wards that block that block um, that block them from attacking humans. Now if the, if a human say traveling from one village to the next get caught out on the road, then they're in huge danger of being eaten and and the book calls it cord. They're in huge danger of being cored by um, the name of the demons are corlings. Right, because they they are said to have come up from the core, so they are corelings, right? So, so our our one of our main heroes in this book series the name is Arlen Bales, right? Arlen Bales, from early on, unfortunately, his mother was cored, and this is in the very beginning of the story. He felt as if his dad was weak in protecting his mother. His dad was was so scared of the corelings that he relieved on his responsibility to care for his mother. And as a result, Arlen developed this sort of hatred for quarrelings and just a dislike for his father. And as a result, one day he, he runs away from home after his mother was killed because his dad was just, he thought his dad was pathetic. Okay, so some of the things I really like about this book is character development. These characters, they start out with, uh, you know, it's, it's fairly standard. You kind of see what the, the author is doing, but it's really good either way. The characters start out um, with complex feelings, complex emotions, complex situations. And as the story develops, um, they don't necessarily, some of it doesn't necessarily get better. But some, in certain instances, the characters learn and they grow and they change for good or for bad and and so on. So they're not static. They're not just the same character that you met in the beginning. They're not the same when you get to the end of the book. They're not the same when you get to the end of the series. Um, love that about this book. And, and our main characters are kind of like that. Our supporting characters are like that where... Um, some of our like hard-headed characters who are just completely stupid anyways um, they grow and they change and the towns themselves the town and the environment the atmosphere changes so there's a lot of change that occurs during in this book entire societies change entire entire villages change like I feel as if um, Peter uh, mr. Brett created a world of change <laughs> you see what i'm saying and so as a result the book does not feel static even in like the smallest instances the book doesn't feel static there's always a change going on there's a change that happens over series long and there's a change that is happening over book long and i think i don't know for him to write these stories and and come out with them so quickly um because this this is a full series the five series and now he has a new series that's continuing from this 
and he's pumping these books out like I mean pretty quick I, I think like one every couple of years maybe but that's pretty quick for what you're getting and so um, very very good now um, so on that front um, I will give this book um, honestly I'll give this whole series I don't want to say a book because I'm not going specifically with the book but I'll give this entire series a 4.5 out of 5 stars like that good hugely recommended all right so thank you for watching up to this point now um we're gonna head into a different section of the review that kind of highlights some warnings that i want to give you my amazing precious viewers um about this book series on the general note i gave it a 4.5 but this is some reasons i wouldn't read this book if I were you and see the thing is for me again I pay attention I pay very close attention to the heroes right and to the main characters and what they're doing and and, and so on and the things that they say is acceptable right and so um, one of our main characters Alicia paper in the first book you go through the the first 65% of the book she is trying to stay true even though her mom like sleeps around and whatever Alicia is like, look, I don't want to sleep with my boyfriend until I'm married. A lot of people hate her for that, right? Because they see her as like, oh, Miss Goody Two Shoe, Alicia Paper. And then her boyfriend then goes and starts this rumor that she um, slept with him. And so as a result, like, Alicia ends up hating him and decides to break up with him it becomes like a huge thing in the village because everybody knows that these two are to be together and so on and so on they were they're a huge thing totally in love she loves him he loves her but then he goes and does this dumb thing he's drunk he's talking oh yeah well alicia paper let me do all this stuff to her right she hates him as a result leaves him but she leaves home um and she you know she wants to stay away from home and even while she's on the road with someone who's like a messenger who's who's taking him taking her with him he tries to rape her and she puts something in his tea that makes him like impotent like he he's not able to get it up and then 70% into the book she's raped and it becomes such a it, the lead up to this thing is so impactful is so strong like i didn't you from the beginning of the book i didn't realize you know it's a lot of conflicts a lot of issues a lot of this and that da, 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 da. her values are there and then someone comes and takes it from her i just remember like getting to this part of the book and i'm just like oh no oh no oh no this is gonna happen i just it, it just it all made sense like, this thing that she was defending so vehemently throughout the majority of the book is now taken from her and now her response I don't want to spoil anything else about it because I've, I've given away a lot already her response to it was like all of a sudden her values that she's grown up with and that she's kind of held on to and fought she just kind of let them go all of a sudden because someone took it from her took that special part from her and we don't get an actual resolution of this issue that she faced until all the way in book five when she meets up with her assailant and the person who took it was like anyways i don't i don't want to spoil too much right but it's really impactful is it's really a big part of the book and so then from there on i found and this is some some additional warnings i'm not going to spoil anything else i found that sex and sexual abuse and sexual practices be, start to become huge parts of the series as the series went on right sex was being used to manipulate sex was being used in religion and i found that it was very very close to other evil practices in our current 
society but then these practices in the book were be were being done by the heroes and i guess that's that's the kind of trigger that's my issue with this book is that it the heroes are doing normally evil things that are in our society they're doing it and it's good in the book that's my warning and so with that being said after this discussion i would rate this book a 3.8 you know if you were raped for instance would you go is it safe is it good for you to go and entertain yourself with other people being raped um if you had a brother or sister being that was killed or hurt or harmed in a certain way would it be good or safe for you to go and entertain yourself with someone else's sister or brother or whatever being hurt or killed or what have you i don't think that is a safe thing to do and that's why i'm trying to warn and I'm, I'm trying to be very careful here with my words. I'm trying to warn people, I'm warn my viewers about, again, entertaining ourselves with things that could be potentially harmful and so on. All right. So anyways, thank you again for joining me on The Novel Escape. If you've read this series and you have a different take <laughs> on my review and discussion of this book, then definitely hit me in the comments and let me know what you think. If you agree, if you don't, let's talk about it. All right. Thanks again. Have a great day. Peace.